Christmas. How is everybody doing? First and foremost, I want to say happy Memorial Day to everybody. I realized that Memorial Day was on Monday and this is now Tuesday because it is past midnight, but still, happy Memorial Day to everyone. I hope everybody remembers the reason that we grill out and spend time with the family and go swimming and everything, and it's for the ones that we have lost in battle fighting for our freedom. So, this is a video. Um, I told you guys in the last video that I was going to do a video concerning altars and give you a couple of book suggestions, so that's what this is about. Um, one of my good friends has asked me, uh, I, I suppose he lives in like a smaller place and he does not have a lot of room to set up a bigger altar. So he has asked me, what do I do? You know, I mean, can I still, um, uh, worship properly? Can I still pray properly without an altar? And the, the answer to that is yes, 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 you can definitely worship and pray and do magic and um, do whatever you need to do without an altar. That's the simplest answer I can give you is, you know, you don't need an altar at all, at all. Um, now the second thing I can tell you to do is if you need to focus on something um, like a, uh, Oh, what are they called? A god or goddess statue or a representation of your god or goddess. Then um, you can have like a, just hang a picture up on the wall or up on a shelf or on your refrigerator and go to that, that picture and that can help you to focus on your god or goddess. And, you know, when you're putting prayers out there, and um, when you're worshiping your god or goddess, you you don't need anything except for your soul, your thoughts, and intents. And you put all of that out into the universe. And your deities will hear your thoughts and prayers. I promise you that. It will. You put them out to, into the universe, and that's that. But you need to do it with intent. You need to do it with all your might. And some people cannot do that without a focal point. So you need to have a picture or um, some people need an athame so that they can they can point and just center all of their, their energy and intent and just surge it all through up, throughout your arm into the athame and point it out into the universe. You might need that. So you got a picture or you got an athame, or you got a, a stone or a crystal, anything to help you focus on what you are praying for or, um, or worshiping. So, you know, there's that. You, you just, A, don't need anything at all, or you could have just one or two little things. Um, but next, there is also a solution you can have what's called a travel altar or a mini altar. And to have one of these, all you need is an altar cloth, just a small altar cloth. And I'm gonna insert some pictures somewhere in this video, I'm not sure where, but I will insert some pictures of some samples of travel slash mini altars. Um, so you can, you can make them yourself, you can buy them off of Etsy. But all these have, are all you need is like the, little altar cloth and a little mini besom. Um, some kits come with little mini chalices so you can put your water in it. Some kits come with little athames. I mean, they're adorable. They are so adorable. But, you know, you can make your own. You can put your own stones or crystals in it. You can use crystal chips. You can use small crystals. You can use medium-sized crystals, whatever you need. Or prefer um, you can put an LED candle in there and use that for your fire you can put a feather or you can put a regular candle in there with a match or something you know and you can light it up and use that as fire you can um, put a feather in there a little small feather representing air um, the chalice is going to represent water um, and earth you can put Oh goodness, you can just put a little twig in there, you know, to represent earth. Or you can put 
you've seen those little mini bottles that you can put um, like crystal chips or fairy dust in you can put some some dirt some earth in there to represent earth and um, maybe a, a small picture of a of your deity or your familiar or something and you can carry that around with you so if you're out in nature if you're at a park you can sit down and open up your mini altar set it up and there you go you can use your thoughts in in prayers and your energy and and get it all out into the universe um, many altars more um, travel altars you can use them at home as well but a mini altar is usually one that stays home but um, you can still carry it with you if you want but they usually stay home they're a little bit bigger than the travel altars that's where I was saying get you a little um, altar cloth and sit it you can sit it oh goodness you can sit it anywhere if you have a shelf hanging up or you can get them pretty you can get shelves pretty inexpensive like from Hobby Lobby um, Home Depot even or Michaels and you can make you a little altar on that shelf just put you a small little altar cloth on there and get you some candles and crystals and a picture of your deity you got you an altar um, I'm just I'm gonna post quite a few pictures and give you some examples another example that I saw or an, another example that I really liked that I saw on Pinterest while I was looking up these pictures was a shadow box you can get shadow boxes at any home decor place you know Michaels Hobby Lobby um, any any home decor place home goods probably I've never been to a home goods but we don't have one around where I live but anyway you can get a, a um, shadow box and get it pretty deep you know just a cube get you a cube and make it pretty deep and you can cut you out some paper and post it to the back of the shadow box and it can be like a picture of the triple moon goddess um, triple goddess moon triple moon. <laughs> guys I have been saying things backwards like for the past month and if you know me if you've been watching me you know I talk funky anyway but it's been really bad lately so please please just ignore my mess ups when it comes to me talking um, so anyway you can kind of decorate it however you choose uh, and then you can you can either you know you can use some super glue and and glue down like the little chalice if you don't want it to be moved or something if you're using it specifically as a focal point or something you know so that these things don't fall off or whatever um, shoot super glue it down you know so I'm gonna be giving you some um, some pictures somewhere within this video it might be at the end of the video I'm not real sure probably will be but we'll see okay now the other thing the other question that my dear friend had was you know he, he's very new to the craft very new to the craft and he just has questions and didn't we all and don't we still okay guys we never outgrow these questions I've been practicing for five years and I still have a lot of questions you know I'm googling or I'm asking my other sister or brother witches and it's just like help <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna tell you um the okay did I even tell you guys what the question was the question was you know he, he wants some suggestions of books that will tell you how to properly worship and pray to your de deity or deities uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if he came from a Christian background or not you know but if you did come from a Christian background it is no different than praying to God or Jesus I mean it's no different you just you pray you pray out there you know you probably usually ugh. usually as a Christian you know you pray to God who's in heaven you know as a crystal pagan you know you're gonna pray to, to I pray to Jesus um, I put it out in the universe so that Jesus hears me so that Freya hears me so that Rhiannon hears me you know um, but that's just it's as simple as that you just do it you just pray and worship but if you want to really get down to the nitty-gritty 
I've got two books for you that I think will, you'll really like. And I have um, previously done a book suggestion video not too long ago, and I'm not sure if you have watched it or not, but I'm going to put the link in the description bar, or I might put it in the, um, what's it called, the, the little bar that goes up here. I'll put it there maybe. But check out that video with all the book suggestions. But right now, I am going to suggest to you Wicca, A Year and a Day by Timothy Roderick. Roderick? Sorry. Timothy Roderick. Wicca, A Year and a Day by Timothy Roderick. This book is so awesome, and um, it's really great for Wiccans to do. Um, and a lot of people, not a lot, I don't even know why I said that, but there are some Wiccans out there that believe that you're not a true Wiccan until you have gone through the year and a day. I don't believe that's true, but um, I did start my year and a day, and I I stopped doing it for a day, I picked it back up for a couple more days, and I stopped doing it, so in other words, I need to catch back up on it, but um, I'm not a lost cause, and I'm still learning every day, so I do believe that this holds a lot of important information for you and what you're supposed to do is each day do a lesson in the year in a day book there is a year there's 366 days I believe yes 366 days one year and one day worth of exercises and um, educational like information for you to do <laughs> every single day but I will tell you this I know it sounds taunting I know that it sounds overwhelming but even though it's supposed to be done every day you do not have to like it takes 15 minutes maybe to do I mean you can do the exercises all throughout the day all throughout the day but the actual information and all that you know that only takes about 15 minutes to read but the actual exercises are supposed to be, you know, worth a day, day long, you know. But if you stick with it, oh my gosh, you're going to learn so much about it. And the second one that is going to help you is Solitary Witch by Silver Raven Wolf. And this is more, it's, it's not meant to be read from front to back. It's more en encyclopedia-like. Uh, my friend Tiptoe Chick, actually I'm borrowing that from her because she's the one that got me hooked on this book um, and she told us in her video that it's more, it's more or less to be used like an encyclopedia, not just a, a front to back read. So um, you can go in here and it tells you about runes, herbs and astrology. Uh, purification spell for the fire signs. Let's see. The meaning of the number six. I'm going to tell you a whole lot of stuff in here and it's going to help you so much. So, year and a day. Um, Wicca, a year and a day by Timothy Roderick and Solitary Witch by Silver Ravenwolf. And I got. I got this from Books A Million and it was $23. I don't know how much you're willing to spend on books. Um, I know you wanted some that didn't cost an arm and a leg. So if any of you guys out there watching this has any suggestions for my friend, just please put the comments down below uh, so that he can uh, see them and give him some suggestions, you know, of of books that are fairly cheap but will help him to learn you know to get started with Wicca and worshiping and, and everything with the deities you know because he's unfamiliar with that um, and I had to order this one I think I got it off of Amazon I forget how much I paid for it oh $25 so about $25 is gonna be your you the son of a fish $25 is going to be your your usual cost unless you can find, maybe you can find some used books. 
somewhere, maybe on eBay or something, that um, will help you to get started. So, anyway, I hope, I hope, I hope this video helped you. I really do. And if you need any more clarification, you know how to get hold of me. And anybody else who needs any clarification, just put it in the comments below. Check me out on my Facebook page. It's M-I-S-C-H-E-L-L-E Woods. I'm right there. I'm pretty much the only M-I-S-C-H-E-L-L-E Woods that there is. I'll try to put the link below. And uh, just check me out. Um, check me out. Just, you know, send me a friend request or send me a message. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You can message me first and then friend request me. Whatever. Um, I'm kind of getting picky about who I do accept. So if you want to be a Wicca friend of mine or somebody like that, you know, just leave me a message first and I'll, I'll get back to you and I'll, I'll be like, request confirmed, you know. So just, I respond on, on Facebook as quickly as I can. I've been kind of sick here lately, so it's kind of sucked. So, you know, um, yeah. But anyway, like I said, once again, happy Memorial Day to everybody. I hate it. <laughs> you know, going to back going back to work after a four-day week kind of sucks, but I'm ready for it. Um, oh, I did not tell you guys that our youngest son, Will, he graduated this past Friday. And then our, <laughs> my oldest, and then my daughter, my, my husband's youngest daughter, our oldest daughter together. Anyway, Shelby, she turned 21 Saturday. So it has been one heck of a weekend and it's been awesome, except for the times when I was sick and couldn't get my head up out of the bed. But anyway, I digress. I love you guys. Keep rocking and stay magical. Mwah.